Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at a shock core repair kit. So what happens is when you go out camping, you've got your tents, you have your awnings, and then you get some wear and tear too, especially over time. So we'll be taking a look at the repair kit I used to make sure this campsite looks as good as it is. We went out for a big e-trailer camping trip. Everyone set up all types of different camps and campsites. So we're going to take this indoors though so we can really look at the repair kit I used in this video. So first thing, you need to make sure you have the right replacement parts. We have a bunch of different replacement parts here at eTrailer. We have a vinyl repair kit. We have a tent pole repair kit. And this is going to be our shock cord repair kit. So if you have your tent poles, and the tent poles themselves are perfectly fine, no cracks in the fiberglass, nothing like that. You just have the elastic part was no longer elastic. That's where you're gonna use our shock cord repair kit. So included in this is gonna be your shock cord. You're also gonna have these two metal ferrules. And then you have these little washers for your shock cord. And then you have this wire included to help you thread the cord. Now, I personally use bobby pins whenever I have to repair shock cord just because it's easily accessible for me and it pops through a little bit easier, but not everyone will have that in their toolbox, so you can also use pretty much any wire you have on hand. I personally recommend trying to get that wire that is as straight as possible just to make it easier to thread through. So this is the reason we need to replace the shock cord. So the cord itself became really unflexible. So we had to pull it and keep adding knots to keep all the tent poles together until it came to the point where it pulled too tight and then it released from the bottom tent pole. So we're just gonna go ahead and label all of our tent poles to make sure they come back to the same spot. This is a very simple setup because they're all the same but sometimes you have different sized poles for different areas of your awnings or tents. And that's when labeling them with a marker will be very helpful. After labeling your poles, you're now ready to cut the shock cord. So we're just gonna go up on the tent poles until we find the cord. And we're just gonna make a cut there. That way we can take it out completely. Usually they're connected at the very end. There should be a knot there. So go ahead and pop that out of the tent pole and that's gonna be where you put your new knot. Before we replace our shock cord, let's do a quick comparison. You can see the old shock cord here where it's a little stretched out and frayed, and then we have our nice shiny new one. So now we're going to start threading our shock cord. So remember that end cap we took off of the tent pole? Well, now you're gonna put the new shock cord through, make a knot so that it secures itself in that cap and then continue threading these through the rest of your tent poles. You also have these extra ferrules and these washers. And the way that works is the washer gets stuck inside of your ferrule, which means you can make a knot right before the washer. And then if a part of your tent pole gets cut, or if you wanna keep everything together and just not have the rope run all the way through, you go tie that knot right before the washer and then that will secure it. You see here how I made a hook with the wire? Well, now I brought that through our tent pole and then I'm gonna use that to wrap around or hook onto your shock cord and then pull that through your tent pole. And once you've made it through all your tent poles and you have your end, what you're then gonna do is you're gonna try to get as much tension as you can. So pull on that shock cord. You want the tension so that everything will spring together when it's in the folded up position. So once you have your tension, you can then make your knot. Don't forget to cut off the excess cord once you've made your knot. So if you did everything correctly, you should have a well-tensioned tent pole. And the reason you want good tension is to make it easier when you're setting up your campsite, just like that. So that's how you place the shock cords in your tent poles using the Coglin Shock Cord Tent Pole Repair Kit. If you still have some extras, hold on to that for future repairs because it happens. 
time and use does wear down your tents. And it's nice to know that you have a solution that is not getting an entirely new tent.